guys, um, I'm really excited for this video today. I love painting so much and I've been wanting to do a paint with me video for a long time now. So this is just me getting ready. Anyways, this is the paint that I use. Um, I bought it at a craft store. It's pretty much just the cheapest one they have and that's why I bought it. And I'm just using like a old plastic lid cover for where I'm putting the paint because I don't have like a fancy little paint thing. I don't know what they're called. Anyways, shout out to my boyfriend, Andrew. He bought me this really cute easel for Christmas and I have been using it ever since. I also really love to listen to YouTube radio stations. This is one of my favorites. Um, I just recently discovered it. So since sometimes I'm not the most creative person, I like to go on Pinterest and find some inspiration. And I really liked this photo with the blossoms and I think that's Mount Fuji in the background. Um, but I'm not drawing them out. I'm just drawing the blossoms. So here I'm mixing together paint and just starting off with the base. Has anyone else had the worst allergies this springtime? I don't know what it is because I'm literally stuck inside most of the time because of quarantine, but I've had the worst allergies. I cannot stop sneezing. While doing this painting, I didn't want the background to be just a solid color, so I played with like lighter or darker of the same shade of blue to make it more dynamic. <laughs> I really don't know why I decided to film me squirting out the paint, but it, it's, it's kind of funny, so enjoy. And for the bottom right corner, I wanted to play with a more purpley color and kind of like play with a gradient effect and make it kind of bleed into the blue. I mixed a darker shade of that same purple and this is like the base of the clouds. So I wanted the clouds to kind of look like there was a sunset and it's kind of hitting the clouds at different angles, so this is why I'm starting with a darker color. And I am now mixing a kind of orangey peachy color to go on top. And I'm just kind of slapping it on there to make it look textured, if that's the right word. Anyways, it looks really bad now, but I promise you it looks better. <sighs> Honestly, in my experience with painting a lot more over the past year, I've noticed that I would start paintings and then immediately hate them and then just give up. But the times that I would start painting and the same process would happen, I would hate it, but then I just kept going. Norm, most of the time it turns out to be some of my favorite paintings. So if you're feeling discouraged or don't like a painting, just try and work through it and it might turn out to be one of your favorite paintings. I also just realized this is probably the most unflattering angle ever. I mean, hello, double chin. Um, we can all just try and ignore that. So 
here I'm trying to add a more pink color to the cloud just playing with the shape of the cloud i feel like the more different colors and textures i added to it it made it look more realistic So as you can see here in the closer shot of the painting, I am kind of just dabbing the paint on and making it look more textured. Um, it looks weird close up, but from far away, it looks more realistic. So the next thing I am doing is adding in the blossom branches and so I'm using this photo for reference and I'm just adding these little black branches first and then later I'll be adding the blossoms around it. I think at this point I was pretty scared about my painting just because I loved the clouds and the sky and I really didn't want to mess it up by adding in the branches and stuff but I kind of just had to trust the process. So as far as the actual blossoms, I knew that it wasn't going to look exactly realistic so i just kind of went with it and started dabbing on shapes for the flowers i picked one color for just like the base color of the blossoms After I added the first layer, um, this is what it looked like. I decided in the middle of this to add a little baby moon. If you know me, you know I love the moon. The moon was my first tattoo and I just think it's really cute when it's just a small little crescent so I wanted to add that in the middle. So after that, 3 p.m. rolled around and I have been painting for literal hours and getting really tired and hungry. So I went to the kitchen and cooked up my favorite pasta. While that was cooking, I took my favorite mug and drank some cranberry juice. This is me 
me sitting on my counter. Isn't my mug so cute? It's so cute. My friend got it for me for Christmas, I think. Or my birthday, one of the two. And after I had cooked that, I went for a little break in my room and watched an episode of Dance Moms. Um, I love Dance Moms. I think it's the funniest show ever. I am low-key sad for these kids though, that they were raised with all of this drama, but it's very entertaining. So this is me watching it. And finally, we are back to painting. So. The next thing I wanted to do was add some more dimension to the blossoms. So I mixed a dark pink color and just started adding them, um, not in a particular way. I didn't have a special technique for this. I kind of just like went with it. I really like how this was turning out though. And this is what I was looking like after that. Um, I really liked it, but I did think that it needed some more dimension. So I went ahead and mixed a medium pink color and added those as well. And again, I didn't have any technique for this really, so I just kind of splattered that on there. After that was all done, I decided I really didn't like how unnatural the branches looked. I think they were just too dark, so I took my Posca pen and I just added some brown on top of it, and I think that made it look a lot better. And that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want more of these videos. Um, this was really fun for me to film. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and are staying safe.